So I've always known who God and Jesus are. Um, I grew up in the Catholic Church uh, for basically almost all of my life. Uh, but I didn't have a really strong relationship with God. And I knew that I uh, went to Catholic school and I saw my friends have these uh, really close relationships. They seemed to really understand what it was, but I just couldn't understand. I didn't quite get it. And, you know, there were a lot of check boxes that they expect you to do. And, you know, I knew one of them was going to confession at least once a year, which I never did. Um, and I kind of expected and accepted that I was going to purgatory or hell. I wasn't going to go straight to heaven because I wasn't meeting all of the standards to be a good Catholic. And you know, the, the sins of just trying to fit in with um, societal norms also, you know, knew that I wasn't in quite there with being aligned with God. At the same time, I was having some health problems and really struggling with life, trying to get through everyday things such as going to class. I had prayed about it and with all my daily struggles, I thought God had turned his back on me. And at the same, at that point too, I turned my back on God. The great thing is, is throughout my life during this period, I would have people come into my life to talk about God and remind me to come back to the faith. During those times, after those conversations, I would, I would try it and try to focus on you know, really trying to have a relationship. But, you know, through praying and then I would return to the church, I never really felt fulfilled. Honestly, the words of a Garth Brooks song kept me really going, um, the song Unanswered Prayers. And the fact that if he doesn't answer, that was actually an answer. And that's actually what tried to kept me going through the roughest times of my life. The greatest Thing that could have happened to me honestly as I wandered through life couldn't find what I considered my home um, a career direction was I moved to Atlanta sight unseen and when I started working with these people I had a manager that during our one-on-ones we would talk about God and faith um, something you don't really get into a workplace but they started giving me resources and somebody actually a good friend of mine gave me a study Bible and that really opened the door because all of a sudden it had commentary and clarification on words and it really brought the Bible to life for me um, and I started listening to uh, other Christian sermons and they really dug into scripture and I actually figured found out that's what I was really missing in my relationship is really understanding what God had put down and left for us and like all the answers are in the book and gave me a direction in life. And once I figured out that I needed to submit to God's will and not do what I wanted to do, all the pieces of my life, everything started going, I would say smoother, but I actually found a just general peace. I can actually look back on my life and just see the amazing works that God has done from the very beginning to make me a a child of his and I see his works on a daily basis. I'm on a daily basis in search for making sure that I am doing his will and that's what actually led me to on mission and when I walk through the door the mission of the church really spoke to me is you know discovering my purpose and playing a role and so that's my story. My name is Julie and I walk through the open door.